light the shit up Hello and Wheels, Super Fan Dale and Jade in the house uh, for this video of High Rolling with Hello and Wheels. What's up, guys? What's going on? It's been uh, it's been a busy, busy, uh, busy week or so for us. Uh, week, we've had a lot going on. Yes, sir. Big, big long week. Got to put in a little bit of training work and try and get back on the roll. A little hiccups here and there, but we just take this. Yeah, yeah. Six foot yeah. five hiccup last Saturday. It was like a six foot five hiccup. <laughs> Um, that video will be coming out soon. Y'all can enjoy the latest Hell and Wheels Challenge. I won't give you too much away on that. I know the video has not posted yet. Um, so we're also live on Instagram. Anybody on Instagram, man, we're looking to check out some fights. So if you're a Street Beast fighter um, and you want to jump on the Instagram live, man, we want, we want to watch your fight. Let me tell you, man, look, Instagram live, live is just like a diesel engine. It takes a minute. It takes a minute for it to warm up and people start jumping on it. We gotta back. give them some time. So until then, I guess we're gonna have to look at some of these street beast fights. Which so, oh, go ahead. So what we could do, man, is we could talk about July third. We could talk about the oh, wheelchair boxing <laughs> mixer. Um, that wheelchair boxing mixer, man, it's going down July third at Street Beast. Hit that Street Beast HQ uh, link to sign up. Uh, if you're able bodied and you want to smoke, drop that Hell on Wheels challenge. I'm about it. Uh, big shout out to Dustin, aka Wheels. You know, so much respect for that guy. Talked zero smack on the internet before the fight or after. Came to Street Beast, showed out. Really, man, had a good fight. He's already at 125,000 views. Um, and nothing but respect for that kid. He's not an internet gangster. He's not really talking smack, man. He's out there doing his thing. Um, another thing we had going this week, for those of you that were at the last event, you noticed I was in a different chair. I was in a sports chair that was uh, sponsored to me by a local company, Menix. Um Unfortunately, it wasn't the right fit for me. It was it was a youth chair, and if many of you that were there kind of noticed it was a little small, so it wasn't right for me. We were able to go ahead and, and help out another youngster in the community with that chair, though. So um, so that's awesome, but that brings me to a point. Um, if there is uh, any business partners out there uh, that want to do some local marketing with Hell on Wheels and Team Challenge Accepted, um, please get with me, man. I mean, literally, I will put your business logo on my wheelchair. That's literally a rolling billboard. I, yeah. I, I make no jokes about that. Um, you know, we get our intros, my average fight seen by 125,000 people, get her tight. Plus, you know, you got challenges, fights, he's got 22 on the screen. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's a lot of publicity you, your business can get. Um, then I got a lot of things that I want to work on as far as, you know, getting, getting out to Detroit. Like I mentioned in our last video, we're having some conversations around that. Um, I still want to get out there on the, on the West coast, enjoy some sunshine. You know, some of those things <laughs> yes, cost sir. a little bit, a little bit of coin, but, um, your business could, could help us make that happen. Um, and we're definitely looking for sponsors, man. I'm not a guy that wants a handout. We'll take a handout. Um, you know what I mean? We, I want somebody that wants to be a part of uh, what I'm doing. And I want somebody that, that feels, or excuse me, what we're doing. Uh, I want somebody that feels like it's a worthwhile mission. So if, if that's your company, man, uh, hit me up. Um, and, and we're glad to talk about what we can do. Man, I can flex in anybody's company shirt. You feel me? Uh, big old boy. Uh, yeah. So the other thing that I, I'm gonna bring up, right? Um, I saw, I, I was, you know, I saw that there was some mention of this, this Street Beast, uh, the Street Beast membership uh, cards that they're doing, the pay per view. Um, man, if y'all need somebody to commentate that, number one, I like watching Street Beast <laughs> fights. I will learn about the fighters, and I, I mean, I think I can put on some good commentary. Um, and we we all know I, that 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 I need to monitor my filter from time to time, uh, and I might be able to show that I can do that. So and I can you know, filter those. <laughs> Face, if you're out there, you already know, man. The dynamic duo, we got that, man. Um, I, I think we could uh, bring our fight IQ and some personality to that course. If it's something you're interested in, yeah, holler at your boy, Rough and Rowdy. Your hype man is weak. He <laughs> looks like Hank Hill and the Penguin had them an illegitimate stepchild. You understand yeah. me? Kind of looks like Bobby. You ain't gonna like get Hank hyped Hill. when you stay hyped. Hell on wheel style, always throwing it down. Um, hell on wheels zero to give man zero at all um but just just really 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 excited about july 3rd really really excited to get some business partners going on really excited to get out here for uh the move of country with the mac gym out there in detroit michigan 
Shout out Team Sparkman. I can everything. I, I think we're going to do some awesome stuff when we get out there. Um, I, I, I just think it's going to be legit. I'm truly hoping for those uh, wheelchair boxers or adapter boxers that watch our programming. At the last measure, we doubled the amount of participants. We have four participants. That's decent. So if we do that again, we get to eight to ten participants that can routinely come out to streamies. That's called a division, people. That's called a division. Um, then, like, somebody could go to face and be like, hey, man, there should be a, a title holder for the wheelchair division. Once some guys get some actual fights. Yes, sir. Man, I don't even, I, I don't even, start I don't even have to ask because I know he'll treat it just like he would if he started a bantamweight division tomorrow. He would do that. So he's not going to treat the adaptive baffling any different. So that's why, for those of you that jump in my inbox, I'll put you if you had the belt. I don't need no belt. Um, I don't need any kind of... He don't need something to hold his pants up. I'm nah, right. bro. I'm good. I'm good. I got plenty of swag. Um, but I want to see you guys get out there. If me talking smack to you will get you out there, I mean, so be it. Um, but, I, you know, I want to see you guys get out there. I want to see you guys compete. You know, I've seen how much he's helped Sparkman. Look at his videos, man. See how much more physically active he is. See how far he much further he's able to extend his arms, how much faster he is, how much stronger he is, just just all the things that you know that, that come into that. And I'm so looking forward to seeing Zach, the the new guy um, that we had last time the Zach attack. Super super excited to see him back out Street Beast with the wheelchair boxing mister. Guys, Street Beast is the only place that the wheelchair boxing deal is going on. All these guys talking about what they do, this and that, man. You Google wheelchair boxing, you get Street Beast, you get Hell on Wheels. <laughs> I don't want it to be Hell on Wheels, man. I want you to Google it and that dude Dustin pop up. Um, I want you to Google it and Jesse pops up. Um, I, that's really what I want to see. Um, I like to fight and all, but I, I want to make sure everybody else get, get, gets their fair shake, which is also brings you back to why we need those business partners made so that for some of those folks that can't make it to Hell on Wheels, Hell on Wheels can make it to them. Uh, we can put on a nice show. So, challenge, man, what you got going on as far as, like, uh, you know, your training, your upcoming deals, man? What, 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 what you got going on, man? Um, well, maybe some plans to uh, hit up the next bare knuckle thing, but uh, I think the next one's going to be in Texas. So, so that next one's trip. in New Mexico. <laughs> it's in New Mexico. It's in New Mexico, so, yeah, that's a... Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a trip. We didn't make it that one. <laughs> but, but, hey, to Joe Elmore, to Reggie Barnett, um, <laughs> to the Bow Bell Thumber, my man Bobo Bannon. Um, y'all gonna see us. Sorry we didn't make that New York deal. Our man Turk, he come out there, he said uh, he said he, he learned some things, he said it was a good experience. So I'm really excited to get challenge out there. Big shout out to Turk for going out there, you know, no. and doing that. Turk didn't talk Big about it a him, lot. Because no. Turk's a humble cat, man. He ain't he ain't uh he He'd rather show it than actually talk about it. Right. That's a man of action. <laughs> man, I'm gonna keep it a buck since we brought Turk like I, I miss the two a days. With the street beast guys in the morning, and then my neutral corner guys in the yeah, evening. Yeah, I got the same guys. <laughs> I got so much sparring, bro. I was sparring twenty rounds a day, man. There was nobody in the wheelchair game getting that. And of course, Turk was always one of the guys that liked to come in and hit me in the ear hole. Um, so uh, you know, big respect to those guys. Hope those guys start coming back out. Uh, at some point, man, get some rounds in. Stop ducking, man. Hell, meals, come on, get some smoke. I mean, if y'all don't know where to find us, hey, Neutral Corner in Winchester, Virginia, baby. That's that's where we're at. I mean, I coach there now. We got, well, I've been coaching there now for almost two and a half, three months now. We got Corey Wallash, the Wolverine. We got uh, Daniel Shaw, Demon Boy, baby. Like, so, hey, if you want to learn a lot and come out and bang, I mean, we're about to smoke, but we uh, we like to sh like train people first and then spar later. To be honest with you, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, man. And, and hopefully, as these restrictions with the COVID, um, you know, they, they, they left up, maybe we can look back into uh, hooking up with Corey on this adaptive boxing programs. There, um, he's always been super supportive, and we always appreciate his support uh, that we get from him and Dan and the guys at Neutral Corner. Uh, that's why we rep it. We appreciate the support yes. for those of you that are looking for a place just to get physically fit, man. Like, don't even make it, like, if you're about getting physically fit, come on and see me. Or if you even want to get some mental strength, like, stress out, yeah. boxing's good for it, too. Right, ain't, 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 ain't no doubt. Shout out uh, Ken Foreman, the guys at Little Militia. Uh, some big cats over there. You want to get big, you want to get swole, man? Here's where it goes. <laughs> uh, ain't no doubt, but it is getting hot. And that, that man, that's when I love to go to North Carolina, man. In nice hot days, um, that's an old building. Look like that episode of Rocky. 
when he go to Apollo's joint, that, but you know, I mean, mm -hmm. we ain't got water pipes dripping or nothing, but sometimes the roof leaks. And minus the frozen meat. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, the, sometimes the, the frozen meat freezer. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, good, good group of cats in there. Hell on wheels, man. Went from almost 250 pounds down to 150 pounds. So, I mean, that's a nice transformation. Um, and, and I'm, I'm really proud of that, you know, where, where I'm at physically uh, because of the fine folks at, at Neutral Corner, Keenan, and, and all the support that I've gotten. I really understand how blessed I am. Uh, to further how blessed I am, you know, when, when uh, it was unfortunate that the wheelchair didn't work out for me, um, a lot of people were in my inbox when I was trying to give that one away. Um, I mean, unfortunately, I'm not the guy that has that kind of money. I'm rolling around in an old piece of crap chair that I don't even like. Um, but it is what it is, man. So I'm telling you, man, if, 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 if I ever get off the ground, the Hell and Lose Foundation, the first thing I'll ever try to do is provide kids with chairs, man, because I know how much it sucks. I know how much it sucks. There's not there, like there's no making this fun on any day. Uh, but at least if you got a nicer chair, like it, it, it opens up a different world for you, different things you can do, and etc. So man, I, I promise you guys, when I get to a point to where I can do that, man, I'm gonna do it. And it's tough on me to to hear from some of you guys because y'all think like, you know, oh, he's on YouTube, he's having wheels, he's just this this big celebrity. I'm not. Like, look, guys, I only have like 190 subscribers, man. I'm nobody. Um, Street Beefs is a big thing, no doubt. Street Beefs is, is a heck of a platform, but me personally, man, I'm not, and I know that so many of you guys, um, maybe aren't as, um, fortunate as me, man, and I, I'm not gonna say I feel bad about it, um, because, I mean, that's, that's, that's the cards you're dealt, but, but trust me, I understand how fortunate I am, and it makes, you know, I mean, I, I want to be able to help, and it, it hurts me sometimes that I can't help is my point. Uh, it hurts my heart that I can't help, but those of you that do know Hell and Wheels and have been around me, I'm not the guy you even got to ask for help, man. I'd be the guy there helping before you even ask. Um, because I'm not a guy that asks for help. So, like, if one of my friends wants to help me, they better jump in and do it because I'm not the guy that's going to stop and ask. But what, what I have done, you know, and I'm going to take this from my man Pat, a.k.a. Venom Black. I've created a lane, folks. I've created a lane. I don't want it to be a one-chair lane, man. I need other cats to come out here and experience this and do a cool thing. Um, man, I need some companies to get behind this. I need people to see this. Um, because, you know, you may be seeing some, some different people out there in combat. Man, I'm telling you, there are military soldiers out there that were injured and that still want to be able to compete, still want to feel like, man, there are people with all kinds of different variations of that that would love this. We just got to get it out in front of people. People got to come out and compete. Get in my inbox. Be honest about what your skill level is. Be honest what your experience is. I will set you up with a good fight. I was honestly the fight I'd like to book right now, and I'm gonna say it right here. Uh, Keenan Bell, I'd like to see him run against Wheels. That'd be an awesome wheelchair fight if we could make it happen. These guys are similar size, and from what I can see on video, uh, I think similar skill. But my point is, is, man, I'm gonna do my best to find you the best matchup for yourself. But in order to do that, I have to have you show up. <laughs> a lot of people there, right? The more people I had to pick from, better matchups that we can create and the guys at street beast friend they know how to make matchups yep. they've been doing it for 13 years right i might know a little bit more about their affliction than face might but face knows about putting on fights he's been putting on fights for 13 years and maybe one or two fights at an event out of 70 are lopsided fights you know what i mean and most of the time if they are lopsided fight one guy was highly skilled perry you know what i mean perry or there was a lucky shot right always could be because here's the reality Two years at the Y taking boxing is different than two years <laughs> taking boxing at some of the, these gyms that some of these guys oh. in the street are involved in. Um, it's different. You know what I mean? Um, but always big shout out to streamers for letting me do what we're getting doing. I know we're getting long in the two uh, challenge, man. What, what else you got for, for the bid today? It's my homegirl, Dale and Jay, man. She's, uh, I think she's going to go, go enjoy some dinner with Mr. Reese. She's saying bye, guys. Give Miss Dale and Jay the big shout out, folks. Hi. Uh, yeah, like I said, number one Hell on Wheels fan Jesse. in the nation, uh, Dale and Jay. That, that's definitely where a lot of my heart comes from, folks. Um, for real. This little girl uh, is visually impaired. She don't let nothing hold her back. She's a beast. Um, <laughs> and uh, she absolutely loves the Hell on Wheels. And uh, <laughs> and what we're doing, I can't wait to have this little girl out to the yard. God bless the dude that's got to fight me when she's out there. God bless you. Ooh. You better say I'm, I'm, I'm being legit. You better say your prayers because... If I won't get beat down in front of my homegirl, shout out Morgan's hair. I, I damn sure ain't going to get beat in front of my little girl, I'm going to tell you. Um, but, uh, can you take us home, man, with anything you want to say? Oh, what else I could add here? Um, so, 
with the Street Beat pay per view that's getting ready to pop off, I'm, I'm pretty sure like you already know me and Helen has got the uh, let me let me screw over a little bit has the uh, chemistry to run a little bit of the commentary also with a little bit of Ramos. I mean, I could see uh, it could be a live life full event <laughs> as much as that. and knowing the fights that are going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I true. I got it. It would be all right. I think it would be bomb. There's going to be a lot of setup that's going to have to be done for this, but. Uh, I mean, that's all I can really say about that part. Um, if anybody jumps on, comment in the bottom of the video. And if you want us to break down one of your fights, just uh, whenever we get on live, or we'll message you before we get on live again and see if we can get you on here. Uh, Absolutely. I want to get some guys on the go. live feed for challenge. I want to start breaking down some fights. The more I watch fights, the more I learn about fighting, man. Uh, let's talk fighting. And let's also fellowship as a community, the Street Beast Fighters, man. Like, really, I mean, I talk a lot of smack about, about wanting to fight people because I'm trying to pick a fight because I want to fight. But 98% of the people I've met through that community, decent individuals, right? So, um... Until he starts talking about their moms. Right, and always. We, was like, <laughs> we got some issues. Out of but, uh, but, guys, we always want to shout out Morgan's Hair, um, uh, s and Law Services. Thank you guys for the support. Let's get some other business partners out there. Sunshine, always shout out to you. Thank you so much for what you do for us that nobody ever hears about. Um, but as always, guys, let's get, get that, that money. money.